to complain about the fact that there's no entrance for the handed out at the Comox Street entrance. Now all the outpatient clinics are pretty well there, would they be? So you get dumped at Comox Street and that's a five minute walk when you're young and agile. But when you're old and decrepit, it's a crumbly way and you have to walk all, either all the way round to Comox Street or you have to go through the hospital, through all those elevators and it's confusing. It's miles. I agree. I've been lost several times. So I had, I had written to the council and they said they were considering it and I sent a copy to the handy dot and to the hospital as well because I didn't know how the hospital could consent to it for the sake of the patients, because there must be many more people than I who find that a difficult transition. Janet, I'm going to ask Janet a question now. Janet, what, how often do you do this and how important is it for you to go out and make home visits? We don't hear about it that often. No. Uh, I try to go once or twice a week. Um, we're one of the few specialists that go and do home visits. There's very few other people. But for us, uh, it's important for us to have some sort of home visit service. There's a lot of folks that just can't get out, and then other folks that don't want to come to the hospital. And we, I think it gives a much clearer picture of how people are actually doing. Oh. So if there's a question of how people are doing, we'd rather come here and see how clean is it? What are the resources? I can actually go over in detail um, what medications they're on, you know, because sometimes they, there's multiple medications that they don't always bring into the hospital when they come to a clinic visit. And then they feel more comfortable. So if, if coming to the hospital or coming to a clinic, it makes them anxious or tired or exhausted, we're not getting a good picture of what's going on. It's much more important to do it here. So we train our trainees to, to come out to do home visits. We have GPs that do it, but, but it, sometimes you need this sort of specialist service as well to go into the home. Is it the, or the other argument would be that it's not very efficient. You, if you were at the hospital, right. you could see five or six or even right. ten patients in the time that you yeah. have to do this. So, what are the, why, why is it so much more important? So we only see certain people, so we try and when, when the request comes in, the referring people will often say, well, this really needs a home visit. It's the, and it's particularly the folks that are homebound and are, are particularly hard to get um, out. And then the ones who are not doing well and no one can quite sort out why, seeing them in their own homes will clarify a lot. Is it um, something, you know, that we all heard stories about doctors yeah. made home yeah. visits yeah. and then we kind of stopped doing it and now um, you're starting to do it again. Do you think in the future this will become more common because it is so helpful in so many different ways? We're really trying to it, um, work on building those home visit services. So um, it is trying to get some sort of efficiencies around it. Uh, and, and in Vancouver we do have a, a whole group of doctors who do home visits. We're trying to expand that you know to as many places in the province as we can because if you do as a family doctor run an office it's hard to go in and out like this but if you are set up to do home visits that's more efficient. Um, for specialists I think this for us this is going to grow so we're trying to train more people to do this, uh, some of the psychiatrists go out as well. It will be more necessary because we're just getting more and more people who are older at home and aging at home, which is where people should be, but it's hard for them to come back to the, to the hospitals and the offices. So the new St. Paul's Campus of Care, mm -hmm. um, how do you envision it being different from the St. Paul's now in functionality, in kind of you know, your favorite fantasy if you could have any mm -hmm. kind of sort of hospital set up for mm -hmm. um, seniors and, and geriatric care. So the, f the first thing is to try and address those issues of, of getting in and out, you know. 
um, as Sheila said, trying to walk all the way from the door to the elevator up to our clinic, which is on the ninth floor, is a huge thing for uh, some seniors. And we should be able to design a place where you just, if you get dropped off by the handy dart, you walk in the door and you're there. You don't have to, you won't get lost and you won't have to expend all your energy getting up to the clinic. Um, St. Paul's originally wasn't built for seniors and this new hospital, you know, will address those needs. The other thing is we're hoping that we'll have a very full range of services there from outpatient physio, which is really important, inpatient things, um, some trying to address, uh, you know, residential care needs, that sort of thing. So much wider range of, of services and all in the same place that we can be relatively efficient.